Good evening, people. Watch him in 65. Lisa Voice, I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel, period. How do you come to this? You come to the end of yourself and you accept Christ as Savior. It's not about what you've done because you can't do anything to earn your salvation. It's a gift. You accept the gift by accepting Christ as Savior. Period. That's the simple gospel. You admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior, and there's only one Savior, and that's Jesus Christ. Once you accept him, put your faith and trust in him. When you accept him, you put your faith and your trust in him. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit leads you. The Holy Spirit guides you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. Period. Period. Not only does the Holy Spirit change you, but the Holy Spirit also, according to Ephesians 4.30, seals you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. Why you wouldn't want to accept Christ as Savior now is beyond me. This is one of the most serious videos I've ever done. And I've been on here for two years. I've been doing this for two years. Someone just sent me this. This came out over the weekend. And I didn't know this was here. When I read this, my jaw dropped to the floor. For real. This is by the, from the Associated Press. The UN chief... United Nations chief says the world is at a pivotal moment and must avert crisis. Now, this is from the United Nations chief, Antonio Guterres. United Nations Secretary, Antonio, Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued, issued a dire warning. Again, this is the United Nations that the world is moving in the wrong direction and faces what's called a pivotal moment where continuing business as usual could lead to a breakdown of global order and a future of perpetual crisis. Changing course could signal a breakthrough to a greener and safer future, he said. Again, when I read this, my mouth dropped to the floor because basically what he's doing is calling the AC. The UN chief said the world's nations and people must reverse today's dangerous trends and choose the breakthrough scenario. Choose, listen to this, the breakthrough scenario. The world is un under enormous stress on almost every front, he said. And the pandemic was a wake-up call demonstrating the failure of nations to come together and take joint decisions to help all people in the face of a global life-threatening emergency. Guterres said this paralysis extends far beyond the pandemic to the failures to tackle the climate crisis and our suicidal war on nature and the collapse of biodiversity, the unchecked inequality undermining the co uh, coalition of societies and technologies advances without guardrails to protect us from its unforeseen consequences. And other signs of a more chaotic an insecure world, he pointed to the rising poverty, hunger, and gender in inequality 
After decades of decline, the extreme risk to human life and the planet from nuclear war and climate breakdown, and the inequality, discrimination, and injustice bringing people into the streets to protest while conspiracy theories and lies fuel deep divisions within societies. In a Horizon scanning report presented to the General Assembly and at a press conference Friday, Guterres said his vision for a breakthrough scenario to a greener and safer world is driven by the principle of working together, recognizing that we are bound to each other and that no community or country, however powerful, can solve this challenge alone. The report called Our Common Agenda, Our Common Agenda, is a response to last year's declaration by world leaders on the 75th anniversary of the United Nations and the requests from the assemblies. 193 member nations for the U UN chief to make recommendations to address the challenges for global governance. In today's world, Guterres said, global decision-making is fixed on immediate gain, ignoring the long-term consequences of decisions or indecision. He said multilateral institutions have proven to be too weak and fragmented for today's global challenges and risk. What's needed, Guterres said, is not new multilateral bureaucracies, but more effective multilateral institutions, including the United Nations 2.0, more relevant to the 21st century. And we need multilateralism with teeth, he said. In the report outlining his vision to fix the world, Guterres said immediate action is needed to protect the planet's most precious assets. From oceans to outer space, to ensure it is livable and to deliver on the aspirations of people everywhere for peace and good health. He called for an immediate global vaccination plan implemented by an emergency task force saying investing $50 billion in vaccinations now could add an estimated $9 trillion to the global economy in the next four years. The report proposes, listen very carefully, because if we're gone this year, this makes perfect sense. Listen very carefully. The report proposes that a global summit of the future take place in 2023. That would not only look at all these issues, but go beyond traditional security threats to strengthen global governance of digital technology in outer space and to manage future risk and crisis, he said. It would also consider a new agenda for peace, including measures to reduce strategic risks from nuclear weapons, cyber warfare, and lethal autonomous weapons, which Guterres called one of humanity's most destabilizing inventions. The Secretary General said a new United Nations Future Lab will publish regular reports on megatrends and risk. He said the pandemic also exposed deficiencies in the global financial system. To tackle these weaknesses and interrogate the global financial system with other global priorities, Guterres proposed holding summits. 
Every two years of the 20 leading economies in the G20, the, US, the UN's Economic and Social Council, the heads of international financial institutions, including the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, and the UN Secretary General. He also called for the correction of a major blind spot in how we measure progress and prosperity. Saying gross domestic product or GDP fails to account for the incalculable social and environmental damage that may be caused by the pursuit of profit. My report calls for new metrics, the value, the life, and well-being of the many over short-term profit for the few. It also calls for a new emergency platform that would be triggered automatically in large-scale crisis, compromising governments, the UN system, international financial institutions, civil society, the private sector, and others, he said. Guterres also proposed repurposing the UN Trusteeship Council, whose work is largely completed to create an intergovernmental body for intergenerational issues that would be a platform to consider the interests of the entire human family. The entire human family, present and future. As part of this, of a new focus on the world's young people and future generations, Guterres said he intends to appoint a special envoy for future generations to ensure the interests of those born in the 21st century and establish a new United Nations Youth Office. Saying much of the world's unease is rooted in poverty and poverty and growing inequality. Guterres noticed that, noted that the 10 richest men saw their combined wealth increase by half a trillion dollars since the pandemic began. And while 55% of the world's population of 4 billion people are one step away from destruction with no social protection whatsoever. To address the threats to Social stability, the United Nations chief recommended a series of measures to listen, to provide universal health coverage, education, housing, decent work and income protection for everyone, everywhere. Guterres proposed holding a world social summit in 2025 on global efforts to address these issues and repair the social fabric. The security, the Secretary General also proposed global action to tackle disinformation and conspiracy theories and promote facts, science, integrity, and public discourse. We must make lying wrong again. That's what he said, instead of looking in the mirror when he made that comment. Folks, this is the Antichrist right here. I just wanted to introduce you to the Antichrist. This is what he's calling for. And this is what it's going to look like. That, my friends, is called control. And that is what's going to happen after the church is taken out of the way. If you wait to get saved, while you have the opportunity to accept Christ and what he did at the cross right now, you are a fool if you wait. I'm just telling you just like it is. And I'm not biting my tongue about it. You're a fool if you wait to get saved. Because I'm going to tell you something. All you have to do is come to the end of yourself. The end of your selfishness. And say, Lord, I'm, in, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. And there's only one, like I said, Jesus Christ. He will welcome you. He will fill you with his Holy Spirit. Someone asked me, well, where is it in the Bible that says the Holy Spirit is your best friend? 
Well, he keeps you out of hell, so what is that calling? He would be my best friend. You know what? I'm going to say something. And it's very simple. Get saved. It's time to get saved. Because this article, if it don't make you think that the Antichrist, he's working behind the scenes. But he's not on the scene yet. This put everything together right here. Right here. I'm going to link this article in the description box. And I thank the subscriber who sent this to me. It's time to get saved. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.